I have already prepared samples and reagents. My solutions here are water, acetone, and water with soap. My reagents are sesame oil, cooking oil, and margarine. The first thing I did was I put a few drops of sesame oil in water, acetone, and soap in my solution. And I just shake it. After shaking it, this is the result of my solutions. As for the second ingredient, I did the same thing, I just dropped a little canola oil in the solution of water, acetone, and salt. This is the result after shaking it. My third reagent is margarine. So since it's solidified, I use a stick to mix it with my solutions. This is the result after stirring it with a stick. Now for the test for the degree of saturated fatty acid, we will need to put a 5mm of our liquid lipids onto our separate cups and as well as a control tube with a 5mm of water. Then we will slowly add a halogen water, then we will shake each tube every inch addition the halogen solution should be added and just until it is to be decolorized. And then we will record the number of drops needed to bring about the full decolorization of each lipids. For the result, the canola oil and water are insoluble, while the canola oil with acetone are soluble as well as the soap solution. For the sesame oil with water is insoluble, while with the acetone and soap solution was soluble. For the margarine, all three samples are insoluble. For the record of canola oil, takes three drops of halogen water before its colorization appears. The color that came out was brown. For sesame oil, four drops were needed for the colorization to appear. The color that came out was light brown. Lastly, the margarine, 6 drops of halogen water are needed for its colorization to appear. The color is dark brown. Upon conducting your experiment, I have learned that lipids are a large and wide group of molecules that are present in all living organisms and also in foods and characterized by particular physical chemical properties such as their non-polarity and their solubility in organic solvents.